then this knowledge will be used as a witness against you. Al-Qur'an hujjatul laka aw alayka. This Qur'an is either a guide for you or against you, a witness against you. Oh Allah, he read me. But then, even then he did not practice me. Summa la tusallunna yaw maizin anin na'im. Allahumma hasibna hisaba yasira. Now the most profound surah of Qur'an, one of the smallest surahs, Surah Al-Asr, consisting of three ayat. And there are three surahs consisting of three ayat. No surah of two ayat. The least number is three. Surah Al-Asr, Surah Al-Qasr, Surah Al-Nasr. Three surahs. And this is the most profound, according to Imam Shafi Rahmatullah Adai. Law Tadabbar al Nasu has his surah, Lava Sayyadhum. If people ponder only over this surah, this will suffice to guide them. In another saying, he says, Law Lam Yunazal bin al Quran is Sivaha lakafat al Nas. If nothing was revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi except this surah, this surah would have been sufficient for the guidance of humanity. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alas, by the fleeting time, the time which is running, 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 it's going, and this is only capital you have. And like ice, it is melting. If you don't sell your ice, it will melt away. So by this time, what is that psalm of life, that poem? Art is long and time is fleeting, and our hearts, though stout and brave, still like muffled drums are beating, funeral marches to the grave. With every beating of the heart, we are coming closer and closer, step by step, to our graves. Just like if the dead body of a general is taken to the grave, you know, there is the beating of the drum. With each beating of the drum, this funeral is progressing. So, Rafil tujhe ghadi al ye deta hai manadi, gardu ne ghadi ur ki ek aur ghata di. When the clock rings, eleven, one more hour has been diminished from your life. One more hour, gone. Don't say that your life is increasing. Every hour your life is decreasing. Well, also, inna linsana na fi All mankind is doomed. To be doomed is the general rule. To be saved is an exception. Inna linsana na fi All mankind. That is why Imam Razi says, Elam. أن هذه الآية فيها وعيد شديد لأن الله تعالى حكم بالخسار على جميع الناس إلا من كان آتيا بهذه الأشياء الأربعة وهي الإيمان والعمل الصالح والتواصي بالحق والتواصي بالصبر أن دل ذلك أن النجاة معلقة بمجموع هذه الأشياء There is a very big threat in this surah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided that all human beings will be doomed, thrown into the hell, except those who fulfill four conditions. And this is decisive to say that the salvation on the day of judgment depends upon fulfilling the four, all the four conditions. Now when I started my work, this Dars of Surah Al-Asr was the starting point. And the selected course of study that I have edited, the starting point is Surah Al-Asr. I have written also, so I can't go into detail at this time. All men, all human beings are doomed except illa lazeen amanu, except those who have faith, real faith, conviction, iman. Wa'amil salihat, and they did good deeds. And Tawasa bil Haq, they exhorted each other to whatever is correct and just. 
But the Vasa Bhis Sabran exhorted each other to perseverance and steadfastness. May Allah give us the courage to fulfill all these four prerequisites of salvation. Surah Al-Hubadah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Now this surah depicts a character. When somebody turns away from Allah, is not mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he doesn't think that he will be resurrected and he will have to answer his deeds, then he, his moral character definitely sinks down, bottom. And this is the picture. Woe to every slanderer, defamer. This is the this is what interests them most, most, slanders and defaming people. The mean activity. Number two, who amassed wealth and kept on counting it, seeing the balance sheet every year, oh, now, these are my assets, and this much I have and own. Yahsabu anna maalahu akhlada. He thinks that his wealth will make him live forever. Now what does it mean? People have used their wealth in order to make their name at least. They know we shall die, but my name should remain. These big monuments, these ahram in Misr, why? This is the urge to continue, if not physically, to continue living in the memory of the people. I recall, you know, a very beautiful quote, quotation. Calm and self-possessed, still and resolute, the pyramids echo unto eternity. The defiant cry of man's will to survive and conquer the storms of time. Man wants to survive and conquer the storms of time. That is why he has built such a high pyramid for himself. Kalla, no, not at all. La yum bazanna fil hotama. He will be thrown in the hotama. And what is that, that hotama? Vabadra kamal hotama. How will you come to know what is that hotama? Narullah il muqada. It's the fire of Allah kindled by Him. And don't 